Bloody hell! Hey, Harry! Hi, Ginny. Harry, you've been chosen. You're Gryffindor Quidditch captain. I knew you'd get it. You've not flown all summer, though, so you'd better get some practice. Come on, Mr. Chosen One. You can use my broom. Thanks. Should be around here somewhere. I'll see you later. Well, honestly, what? All you need to do is clean them out. You could have done it already if you hadn't had a fourth helping of dinner. I'm starving. When did you get here? About half an hour ago. Didn't Ron tell you? I would have, but you've not let me get a word in. If you'd done these jobs for your mum, I wouldn't have needed to speak to you. Mum wants us to get rid of these cauldrons Fred and George had left in the garage. I'll give you a hand. Oh, that one smells far worse than the others. That's it. Well done. Oh, no. Moving them must have stirred everything up. Quick! Chuck them in the pond! You can't throw them in there. Save them washing them. Who knows what Fred and George mixed in there? Exactly. Just think of the... the fish! <laughs> well, I don't know what happens if a fish swallows love potion. Do you? Maybe they'll fall in love with you. Hermione. I love you. Oh yes, Ronald. I'm very grown up of you. Come on, Harry. Let's get rid of those cultures before Mum starts moaning. I wish we could do this after every potions lesson. You did cast that quite well. Great! Let's get rid of the rest of them. Good shot! If the garden gets cold, I'll let you do it to make that to your It's a waste of a Brilliant! Mum 
would have made us clean those out by hand. We'd have still been scrubbing them at Christmas. If you just take the time to learn some cleaning spells. Who wants to spend their time cleaning things up? This was much more fun. Why is Draco sneaking around? I don't know, but that leads to Borgin and Burks. Draco's a Death Eater! It's an initiation ceremony. Why would you know who make that idiot a Death Eater? Why else would Malfoy be in Borgin and Burks? I'm going to find out. And if I use the invisibility cloak, he'll never know I was listening in. Will he? You go on. I want to check something. Petrificus Frontalis! Sneaking about listening in, were you, Potter? I knew I'd seen someone climb up there. Well, <clears throat> enjoy, enjoy the, the trip, trip back, back to, to London, London and Potter. Potter. I was trying to find out what Malfoy is up to. I'm sure he's a Death Eater. I was wearing my invisibility cloak, but he must have seen me when I climbed onto the luggage rack. Maybe he saw your Raxperts. My... what? Raxperts. Was he wearing Spectre Specs? You can see Raxperts through them. That's how I found you. Your brain's full of them. Right. Let's get to the castle. We're probably already in trouble for being late. Okay. Although I'm worried about tripping over things in the dark. Maybe we should use Lumos. What's that? How exciting! A mystery! And we've only just got back. Let's pick it up! It's a crack. That's nice. I wonder if there are any more of them. Let's go and find out. I got another one. Oh, well done. That's three. That's nice. You could make a sort of collection of them. Thank you. 
Dumbledore will say in his speech this year. Shall we go up to the castle? We're missing the feast. to the castle. As you know, each day, dark forces are attempting to penetrate this castle. For this reason, I have agreed that the Dueling Club will restart this year. Now, please What's join me in welcoming Horace Slughorn, who will resume his old position of Potions Master. Meanwhile, the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher will be assumed by Professor Snape. No! How can Dumbledore let him after all he's done? I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. Well, there's one good thing. The defense against the dark arts job's jinxed. Snape will be gone by the end of the year, and personally, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for another death. I would have thought you would be at potions, Mr. Potter. Or is it no longer your ambition to become an aura? I was told I had to get an outstanding in my OWL. And so you did when Professor Snape was teaching the subject. But Professor Slughorn is perfectly happy to accept students with exceeds expectations at OWL, however. Brilliant! I'll head there straight away. But I don't want to do potions. I'm dead awful at potions. I don't know how to get there with half the castle locked by the auras. I'd ask nearly head to Snick. He can still get around, so he knows all the shortcuts. Harry! Bloody hell! And how are we this new term? All fired up and ready to win the Quidditch Cup for Gryffindor again, I hope? Yeah, but right now I need to get to potions. Do you know a way around these security arrangements? But of course, just follow me. It'll be a pleasure to help out. At least potions isn't with Snape this year. I wonder what Slughorn's like.
now find him. But what if they don't? What if the deputies took him? Everyone knows he was helping you all. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. We Gryffindors must stick together. Anytime you're stuck and need directions, advice, information, just call out and I'll help if I can. Of all the ghosts Gryffindor get Nick, he couldn't even get his head cut off properly. He got us here, didn't he? my boy. I was beginning to worry. Sorry we're late, sir. And I'm afraid Ron and I haven't got books yet. <laughs> Not to worry. You can get what you need from over there. A simple little potion to ease us into the year, I think. Open up your books and let's get busy with a witch-sharpening potion, shall we? Hermione? Um, which sharpening potion? We made it in our fourth year. Just do what I do. Armadillo bile. Maybe I should try something else. Great! Let's add some of this! some of this. This is great! There are definitely days I could do with some of this. Yeah. 
It is time to assess our work. There are definitely days I could do with some of this. <coughs> I think you should clear that smoke, my boy. Just a little air in the room, Harry. Uh, oh, I think you should clear that smoke, my boy. your time up. Please stop stirring and look this way. There are definitely days I could do with some of this. Miss Granger, Harry, well done, my boy. Well, now we have our juices flowing. Let us turn to the cure for boils. What's this one? Oh, Harry, it's a first-year potion. Have you forgotten all your revision? little potion, this one. At least it is in the making of it. But be careful not to let things get too hot. A hole in your cauldron can be expensive and painful. Oh. 
Blobber worm mucus. on this. Red is for beginners. Heat until the potion goes pink. That's just a student's notes. It can't be the proper way to make it or they would have printed it in the book. Yeah, but... well, I'm gonna try these notes. Oh no! Less heat! More concentration, I think. Aha! Not bad. Not bad at all. My, 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 Harry. Pink? Uh, uh, yes. I must have... No, no. Red is, of course, the basic potion. But pink? Excellent. You have the makings of a master potion maker. You should be ready for something a little more complicated then, yes? Let us try the draft of living death. I told you to make it go pink. Sir, you haven't told us what's in that little golden bottle. Ah, what you see here is Felix Felicis, more commonly known as Liquid Luck. One sip and you will find all your endeavors succeed. And this I offer today to the student who brews an acceptable draft of living death, a small vial of Liquid Luck. So gather your ingredients, but keep your eyes on the clock. Good luck. I can whisper these notes to you. No, thank you. My instructions are perfectly adequate. Suit yourself. You are doing very well, my boy. Sopophorus beans. <laughs> Isn't that quite enough smoke? <coughs> Please! Wakey, wakey! Smoke, my boy! <laughs> 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 
Ready or not, that is all the time you've got. Please stop. I think you should clear that smoke, my boy. <laughs> Isn't that quite enough smoke? Hurry, hurry, time and potion is waiting for no man. Concentration, I think. Bad Miss Granger, now. Excellent, Harry. It's clear you've inherited your mother's talent. She was a dab hand at potions. But this? Here, as promised, one bottle of liquid luck. Use it well. Hermione and revising all summer. No, it's the textbook I borrowed. It's got notes all over it. I just followed their instructions. Huh? You don't need a potion to be lucky. I mean, I could have picked that book, but no. I get the one that looks like it's been puked on. Harry Potter? Look, he's not talking about the prophecy, he's not talking about the Daily Prophet, and he won't give you his autograph. So clear off, Pipsqueak. No! You've been invited to join the Gryffindor Dueling Club in the Great Hall. Oh, right. Thanks, sorry. It's okay. Oh, Professor McGonagall said to tell you there's a shortcut to the Great Hall behind that portrait. The password is Libraries Liberate. Dueling Club? You should be brilliant at that. All the DA members should. Let's go and see if any of them are joining. Libraries Liberate. Study hard and succeed, dear boy. Hi, Nick. We're on our way to the Great Hall. Jolly good. If you need a quicker route, you could use the shortcut behind the portrait of Basil Hoffman. Oh, 
thank you. That's awfully good of you. Thanks, Nick. Not at all. Anything I can do, just give me a yell. Anything. Anything at all. Looks like Angus Matlock is in charge. Let's ask him what we need to do. We got a message asking if we wanted to join the dueling club. Yeah, we need you, Harry. Dumbledore's restarted the dueling club, and we don't want Slytherin to beat us. What do I need to do? Could you do a demonstration duel for us to help teach the others? Should be simple for you. You won't be fighting you-know-who. Just another Gryffindor. OK. Can we start with the basics? Cast Stupefy at Ron. Ready? On the count of three. Demonstrate the spell Stupefy. One, two, three, cast! Stupefy! Excellent! Wow! It's an honour to watch you cast, Harry. You're brilliant! OK? Now, you first years, watch this. Harry's going to show us the most basic defence, dodging. Ron, you cast. Harry, you dodge his spells. Stupefy! Nice one, Harry. Now, apart from dodging, there's... Oi! You! Pay attention! Listen up! We're going to move on to Expelliarmus. This spell is really useful if you want to finish a duel quickly. Harry, could you demonstrate it for us? Expelliarmus! You need to cast Expelliarmus quickly, or your opponents might have time to recover. Brilliant, Harry! Ready for a proper duel? OK, Ron, now you can fight back. There will be three rounds. May the best duelist win. Come on, Harry. Let's show them how to duel. Ladies and gentlemen of Gryffindor, here dueling today, competing for a chance to join the Gryffindor dueling club. On the left we have Ronald Weasley. Come on, Ron. On the right, the boy who lived, the boy who fought, he who must not be named. Is he the chosen one? The boy, the legend, Harry Potter. Anytime you like, you can sign up for George on the notice board.
I'm glad dumb boy is not a baby. Hello, Harry. Dumbledore asked me to give this to you. How did you get in such a mess? We've been dueling. Well, honestly, it would only take you two seconds to straighten up afterwards. Dumbledore says he likes acid pops. Huh? It's the password. Dumbledore is going to give me private lessons this year. He'll probably want to teach you some really advanced defensive magic because of the prophecy. Come on, Ron. I'll help you with that defense against the dark arts homework. Uh, yeah, right. Are you there, Nick? If I were you, I'd run along to the entrance hall courtyard. Just talk to the gargoyle. He'll let you in to see Dumbledore. We arrived! Uh, acid pops. Good evening, Harry. You got my message, I see. What you see before you are memories. In this case, pertaining to one individual, Voldemort. This contains the memory of the day I first met him. I believe you're familiar with my pensive. This time, you enter the pensive with me, and even more unusually, with permission. And we shall see Tom Riddle as he was before he became Lord Voldemort. I had gone to offer him his place at Hogwarts. How do you do, Tom? You can do things, can't you, Tom? Things the other children can't. You can do magic. Is there anything in that box you ought not to have? He stole from the other children. And worse. We can learn much about Lord Voldemort from his past. A past that brought him to Hogwarts, and a teacher he grew close to. Slughorn? Yes, Harry. Professor Slughorn likes the company of the famous, the successful, and the powerful. He collects them. And you'd like him to collect me? Yes, Harry. Getting close to Professor Slughorn would be useful. Now, that is all for tonight. I shall tell you more soon. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. Hey, you losers from the Gryffindor loser team of... losers. That's imaginative. Did you think of that? Or did Malfoy? Let's see if you're laughing when your team tryouts go wrong, you losers. I heard a rumour Slytherin were going to try and sabotage our team selection. We'd better get to the Quidditch pitch before they do anything. The Auras have reopened all the grounds. Let's go through the clock tower. That should be the quickest way there. Come on, then. going to run the trials yet. Don't pick people just because they've been on the team before. That's the fastest way to spoil your team. I hope Slytherin aren't up to anything. We need these trials to go well. I hope we get a good team this year. decided to close this again. Oh dear. How are you going to get to your Gryffindor trials? You shut this? Yeah. See you, losers. How are we going to get to Quidditch now? I think you'll have to fix the lever. Reparo should do the trick. Reparo! Great! 
That'll show Goyle and the others. Wingardium Leviosa! Well done on raising the portcullis. If you need a shortcut, then come through here. Do you offer a shortcut to the Quidditch pitch? Not exactly. Just to the grand staircase. But I may come in handy later. Great. Thanks. If you need to use my shortcut again, just say dashing Kadaga. Come on. Let's go to the Quidditch trials. How did you get through that portcullis, Potter? You were a bit stupid. Let's see you run your stupid Gryffindor trials when you've been stupefied. Stupefied! Now who's the loser, Goyle? Let's get to the pitch and make sure they didn't attack anyone else. Nick! Nick! Still on our way to Quidditch, are we, Harry? Well, good luck picking your team. There's quite a throng waiting down by the Quidditch pitch. Hey Nick, have you seen Katie Bell? We were on our way to the Quidditch trials. Yes, I have, Harry. And she was asking for you. Just follow me. We arrived!
Ready to try out for Keeper, Weasley? Say, think you could introduce me to your friend Granger? Wouldn't mind uh, getting to know her on a first name basis. Know what I mean? Come on, Harry. We better go in and get started. Uh, right. Thanks for coming. This morning I'll be putting everyone through a series of challenges to select Gryffindor's Quidditch team. Uh, but know this. Just because you made the team last year does not guarantee you a spot this year. Oh, yeah? Does that include you, too? Don't be dense. He's the captain. Doesn't mean he's still a good seeker, does it? Maybe he got injured fighting all those Death Eaters before summer. Maybe he's lost his edge. Go on, Harry. Show them how it's done. You put on a good enough show. I'll make McLaggen eat his bread. It's just they didn't really try with that last shot. That was brilliant, Ron! You did brilliantly, Ron. First game is against Slytherin. Be ready. When's the first practice, Harry? Just look at the notice board. The practice sessions are on there. Did you see McLaggen? That last attempt was so bad, you'd think he'd been confounded. Well, he, uh... Hey, Hermione. Have you ever heard of the spell Sectum Sempra? No. This isn't from that potions book, is it? Yeah, and I found some writing at the back. It says the book is the property of the Half-Blood Prince. I've never heard of him. You should turn that book in. Don't be mental. It's brilliant.
think Dean's seizing her, Ginny? I don't know. She's got nice skin. Nice skin? Man has got nice skin. Hey, Harry! Uh, I need to, uh... Yeah, me too. Could you get me some sweets from Honeydukes? I've got to write two essays and make a shrinking solution for homework, so I can't go. I'll make the shrinking solution for you. Then you can come to Hogsmeade. Since when have you been into potions? It's no problem. Slughorn's let some students set up a potions club in the Herbology greenhouses. I can make it there. OK, thanks. I'll meet you back here later. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. Hi, Nick. I need to find the potions club. I think you'll find that particular little gathering in the Herbology Greenhouse. Hi. Is this Potions Club? Yes. Have you come to join? I've heard you're brilliant at potions this year. Thanks, but I just want to make a shrinking solution. I've got to get back to meet someone. Sorry, if you want to use our equipment, you'll have to join the Potions Club. All you need to do is choose the entry challenge on the notice board over there. OK, thanks. If you can beat the record score for brewing Volubilis Potion, you can join the Potions Club. Volubilis Potion is one of my favourites. Some people just use it to play tricks on others to change their voices, which seems a waste of a good potion to me.
Mandrake, whiter than the light version. <laughs> Syrup of Helen. has brewed Volubilis Potion that well before, you can definitely join the Potions Club. Thanks. Can I make my shrinking solution now? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Stewed Lacewing Flies. Perhaps should take some of this.
wait to see how you do in the other challenges. Come back and try them. Great. I'll definitely have a go, but I've got to meet Ginny Weasley at the Quidditch pitch now. That's okay. Just come back any time. to meet someone. Looks like you're going to be late, doesn't it? Super fine. Now you know what it feels like to be bullied. That was great, Harry. Crab and Goyle are always bullying people. Hey, you couldn't come and help us, could you? I'm the Hufflepuff Dueling Club captain, and some of the students in my house could really use some help with their defensive spells. Well, OK. But it'll have to be quick. OK, everyone. Harry's agreed to show us Protego. Our Dueling Club junior champion has bravely volunteered to help. OK, Harry, off you go. Potato! Could you teach us how to charge spells too? Show us how it's done, Harry. Stupefy! <laughs> Harry, if you fancy another go, just sign up for a jewel on the notice board over there. Hey, Nick, is Ginny still waiting for me at the Quidditch gate? I believe so. You should hurry along to meet her. We arrived! Hi, Ginny. I've made that shrinking solution for you. Thanks, Harry. That's brilliant. You wouldn't believe all the things I had to do on my way back to you. But I'm here now. Shall we go to Hogsmeade? Oh, sorry, Harry. I've arranged to go with Dean. He's not stopped moaning since I told him I couldn't go, and now I can. Yeah. Dean, uh, of course. You'd better go with him. I'll go with Hermione. See you later, Harry. Yeah. See you later. What was that potion you gave to Ginny? You've not been making more things from that potions book, have you? You don't even know who the Half-Blood Prince is. Let's go to Hogsmeade. It's just... I'm starting to think this Prince character was a bit... dodgy. Isn't that Katie Bell? It's, it's nothing, nothing to do with you. It's that necklace. It must be cursed. Malfoy knew about that necklace. It was on display at Borgin and Burke's. But Katie was given the necklace in the ladies' toilet. How could Draco have put it in there? Good luck today, Ron. I know you'll be brilliant. I'll resign after today's match. McLaggen can have my spot. Fine. Juice? You look dreadful, Ron. Is that why you put something in his cup? Don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Harry. 
We've got a game to win. You could be expelled for that. Hi, Nick. Oh, Harry. Good luck today. Let's start the Quidditch season with a win, shall we? Here I am, talking away. You'd better get to the Quidditch pitch. Dashing Cadogan. Pass, friend. Is that a crest over there? Well, well. If it isn't Potty Potter and Weasel King, you're going to lose today. Slithering are supreme. Leave this to me. I'm feeling pretty confident. And now for you, Potter. Let's see how well you play Quidditch after you've been stupefied. Sorry about that, Harry. Are you there, Nick? Your team awaits you at the Quidditch pitch. And Harry, try not to fall off your broom this year. A team needs captain. Watching, plotting. Those Quidditch players, so noisy, so rowdy. Oh, sorry. I'll ask my team to keep the noise down as they pass you. You're one of them. A captain, too. You might as well use my shortcut, too. All the team captains do. My password is boiled beetles. Thanks. Boiled beetles. Yes, just don't tell them that. Hey, Nick. Your team awaits you at the Quidditch pitch. And Harry, try not to fall off your broom this year. A team needs its captain. Well, here we are. Let's go and beat Slytherin. What's got into him? He's just feeling... Lucky. Right. Time for our pre-match warm-up. I've planned a few exercises that should help us get through. So, get your brooms and let's get flying. Easy for you. Just fly through all the gates as quickly as you can. 
shouldn't have done it, Harry. Felix Felicis is illegal in organized competitions. I suppose I should have just confunded McLagan and the trials instead. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Oh, and Ron only thought I'd given it to him. It turns out he can make his own rock. Well, you won't need me to take him to Slughorn's Christmas party. And you'd better decide who you're going with. How does it feel when you see Dean with Ginny? I know, Harry. I've seen how you look at her. Hermione? I'm sure Ron... Oh, don't worry about Ron. He can make his own luck. Mine has got on knickers in a twist. What lav and I have, well, let's just say it's chemical. There's no stopping it. Suppose you're going to Slughorn's party? Yeah. I, I better go. I'm meeting Luna down by the boathouse. Luna? You could take any girl in the castle and you're taking Looney Lovegood. Yeah. One, one! Woohoo! Have fun. Have you seen Luna Lovegood anywhere? Seen? No. Heard? Yes. I think I overheard her try to persuade the merman to look out for exploding snever witches or dabber blips or something. Oh, she's down by the boathouse anyway. I know there's a crest around here somewhere. You're here! Hi, Luna. That's... a nice dress. Do you think I should wear my radish earrings as well? Can't decide if they go with me. No. No, you look fine. I'm glad you came. Professor Slughorn asked me to set these fireworks off to announce his party. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with them. We just need to cast Incendio on their fuses. Incendio! Pretty! That's like the others! There's 
the next one, Harry. Here's another one. That's pretty. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. The auras have opened this part of the castle now. Come on, let's go to Slughorn's party. I'm going to Professor Slughorn's Christmas party. Oh, are you? I wasn't invited. Well, enjoy yourself. The auras have reopened the way to Professor Slughorn's office, though so nothing lies in the way of you having a good time. to go to the party now. I've only been to this part of the castle in my sleep. I sleepwalk, you see. That's why I wear shoes to bed. Are you ready to go to the party now? Harry, my boy, glad you came. There are so many people I want you to meet. Professor Slughorn, there's no one else here. Of course not. And a good job, too. We're not ready yet, not yet the least bit ready. That's where I could do with a spot of help. I'm sure you and Miss, uh, uh... Lovegood. Here, we'll soon get the place in shape. I was going to rustle up a party punch for my guests, but time has not been willing. Could you mix something for me, perhaps? Keep 
Those eyelids open! That's all the time you have. Oops. Steady on there, Harry, my boy. Lively there, no nodding off on the job. <laughs> Wonderful, a nectar from the gods, a taste of sunshine and happiness. I knew you were the man for the job, my boy. Our guests are here! Stop there, Potter. I only wish to convey a message. Professor Dumbledore asked me to give you his best. You see, he's traveling and won't return until term resumes. Traveling? Where? Take your hands off me, you filthy squib! No, no, Mr. Filch. 
What is all this fuss about? Okay, okay. I was gate crashing. Happy. I'll escort him out. Get your lesson, Totto. Ten points from Gryffindor for skulking about. Maybe I did hex that Katie Bell girl. Maybe I didn't. What's it to you? I swore to protect you. I made the unbreakable vow. I don't need protection. I was chosen. This is my moment. Bloody hell. You don't think Slate was just pretending? No. He even said he'd taken an unbreakable oath. The unbreakable vow? Yeah. What happens if you break an unbreakable vow? You die. Everyone gone to bed? I don't sleep these days, so I wash my hair. Silly, right? Happy Christmas, Harry. Balustrades! <laughs> Harry! Harry! Hello. Harry. You goodbye!
away from her! Stego! Superfly! You're lucky you weren't killed, mate. Thanks for, you know, Ginny. If you'd not got there, I could have had a werewolf for a sister. Uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Dad said he checked Borgen and Burks. He said Malfoy was looking at a vanishing cabinet. A vanishing cabinet? What would he want with one of those? Don't know. But Dad said it was still there in the shop. up to something. I just don't know what it is. Hi, Harry. Ron. Harry, I think Professor Slughorn is having another party for invited guests. Slug club? Maybe Slughorn can make you and Clag and King and Queen slug. See you, Harry. Hermione, have you seen Malfoy doing anything suspicious? Oh, really, Harry? Are you still worried about Draco? Ron told me his dad found out Malfoy was looking at a vanishing cabinet in Borgin and Burke's. But there's no way he could sneak a vanishing cabinet into the castle. The Auras are searching everyone who comes in. They're even checking the outpost. Then you tell me how he disappears off the Marauder's map. I I'll show you. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. He's there, in the seventh floor corridor. So? He's not disappeared then, has he? But sometimes he does vanish completely. I'm going to find out what he's up to. I'm going to the seventh floor. What's that I hear? Sounds like a scoop to me. Hot news goes cold fast. You better use my shortcut. Just say, happy headlines. Do you really think you'll find anything, Harry? Yes. I'll prove he's up to something. Leviosa!
Medium Leviosa! Reparo! Happy headlines. Death Eaters sent to Azkaban. That's a happy headline. Leviosa! Hey, Ron, have you seen Malfoy? When? Just now. He's always hanging around on this corridor. And I just found this. It looks like instructions for a potion. It's probably homework. And since when has Malfoy put effort into his homework? You don't even know it's his. I'm going to ask Hermione what this potion is. I bet that will give us a clue to what Malfoy is up to. You're in luck. She's swatting in potions now. Careful. She's still in the right mood. So you won't come with me then? I think I'd rather face that troll we saw on our first year. See you later. Hi, Nick. Have you seen Hermione anywhere? Why, yes! Miss Granger is studying in the potions classroom. Wingardium Leviosa! Libraries Liberate. And so they do, and so they do. Here we are, Harry. Hello, Hermione. Do you recognize this potion? I'm surprised you don't recognize it, seeing as you're top in potions. It's obvious what this is. So, what is it? Why ask me? You should ask the Half-Blood Prince. All right, I will. Well, I can make the potion and find out anyway. Shredded Boomslang skin. Take one Boomslang skin, dry until... dry, then shred.
stewed lacewing flies. Back again, are we, Harry? And a splendid polyjuice potion you're making. But I do hope you're not intending to take it. It is a restricted potion. You're sure it's polyjuice, sir? Of course, that grey and sludgy finish, all characteristic. But then you should know, my lad, you made it. Uh, I was just experimenting. Thanks, sir. A polyjuice potion? You use that if you want to look like someone else. I wonder what Malfoy would want with that. Voldemort isn't going to trust Malfoy with a mission. You haven't got a scrap of evidence, have you? No, not yet. But I'll get something. <laughs> 